Hi, my name is Gary Morgan from School of Profits. I've been invited by our good friends Julian and Karia to contribute to this amazing blog. So I want to talk today about the difference between prophets and intercessors. It's amazing, this is a, a question that comes up so many times within our school. And a lot of times we have people attend our school who think they're prophets when actually they're intercessors. Or they're intercessors and they think they're prophets. So I want to share something with you today that's going to give some clarity and also as well some framework. And hopefully will unlock you to discover who God's called you to be. You see, a prophet and an intercessor receive from the same stream of revelation. It's kind of like an iPad versus an iPhone. They both receive in the same way, but their display and application is different. You see, a prophet proclaims, but an intercessor prays. I kind of say it like this, a prophet speaks to the people on behalf of God, but an intercessor speaks to God on behalf of the people. And it's amazing a lot of times when we begin to discover that prophets who are really intercessors proclaim things they should be praying. And intercessors who think they're prophets are actually praying things they should be proclaiming. And so what we find is, is that the body of Christ is robbed from these two powerful ministries. You see, one of the things I realize about prophets is prophets face people, but actually intercessors face God. And so we see this really um, in, the, in the role of prophets and we see them in the role of intercessors that I kind of realize those that should actually be facing people but are facing God are actually turning their back on the people. And those that should be facing God but are actually facing the people are turning their back on God. And so one of the things that I really want to empower the church to understand is really to come into the equipping place that God wants to release you and unlock you in the whole realm of the language of prayer when it comes to intercession. And God wants to unlock you in the whole realm of language of the prophetic if you call to be a prophet. And so one of the things that, that I began to discover in this journey of, of identifying and, and really seeing these prophets and intercessors in our midst is a lot of times those that are that are prophets who think they're intercessors kind of get locked up and are, are really wanting to pray when all of a sudden it's like God's calling them to proclaim. And those that are intercessors who, who feel like they're, they're prophets are, are actually trying to pray something when God's actually asking them to proclaim. And so I want to encourage you that if you find yourself in this place of like, am I a prophet or am I an intercessor? I want to encourage you to come before the Lord and really begin to discover, is my language one of prayer or is it one of proclamation? Is it one of speaking to God or is it one of speaking to people? You see, intercessors understand the plans of the enemy, but prophets understand the plans of God. When we're able to harness the power of this amazing ministry of the prophetic and intercessors, I truly believe we'll begin to see the fullness of their ministries come about. How do you identify this? Then why don't you begin to come before God and come before your friends and say, do you see something in me that's prophetic or do you see something that's intercessory? And go on that journey with God.